good to go? Are we good to go? I think we need a little sip of drink. I think we're good to go. Hi! Welcome to the floor of my studio. So if you didn't know, I have recently moved house. Well, flat. It's a flat. And I've been doing a few different little moving vlogs. So I packed up my old craft room and then I had the fun of going to Ikea and building lots of furniture. Which means I have these lovely shelves behind me that need filling with pens. So there's this shelf, this shelf, and there's one that you can't see up there. Basically, in my last flat, some of my pens were out in pots, like so. And then some were in their pack still and kept in the drawer of my Alex drawers, which I thought was a really clever way of keeping it tidy. And actually, in a small flat, that really worked. It meant that it didn't get too crazy messy. Uh, bear in mind that my studio was also our bedroom, so I wanted to keep it as tidy as possible. Now, in our new flat, I'm lucky enough to have a whole room dedicated to blink lettering. Plus, the bed is one's home office as well. But he's just got a little desk over there, and then I've got the rest of the room, which makes me so happy. But it does mean that I was able to get some new furniture, like this lovely new desk. And I also got these shelves, so I basically want to sort out my whole pen collection and put them into pots and then they can all sit on the shelves and they're super easy to access. They'll be next to my desk and I can just grab them when I want. So I had a little look around for pen pots. Pen pots are expensive and I know that some pens you're meant to keep flat and you can get those nice cool cubes with the crosses, but again they were quite pricey. If you know anywhere cheap to get them, then let me know in the comments below. But I basically decided that I was just going to use glasses from Ikea. You can get a pack of six for like four quid or something. And I was like, that's pretty cheap. And then when we were walking around Ikea, I found these. So they're just metal plant pots and they were 50p each. They are the Bint Dew. They are the Bint Dew. I don't know how to say that. They're these plant pots and they cost 50p each. So I bought a whole stack. And today's, and today's video is basically all about me organising my pens, which sounds pretty boring when you just say it like that. But I thought it'd be a really good way to show you some of the pens that I do use and I can let you know ones that I use on a regular basis and ones that I don't use so much, but hopefully I'll be using them more regularly when they're out all on display. Before I dive into the pens I have, I just want to say that some of these pens are gifted and when they are gifted, I'll try it and let you know. I just want to be super clear with you guys and be super transparent about when I have been gifted a product. So I've basically just got a pretty big pile down here, which I'm going to sort through. And then I've got my pots over this side, so I'm going to put them into the pots. And then after that, they can go on the shelves. So I'm just going to grab random pens and we can have a little chat about them. So these are the first ones. These are the Chameleon colour changing pens, but they're the fine liner tips, which is super exciting. And as you can see, they're still on the pack. I haven't actually used them yet. So these were actually gifted by Colt Pens, so that's really lovely of them. I do work with Colt Pens quite closely and they do tend to give me quite a few pens so I could do pen reviews. And I do still need to do a pen review on this pack, which is why it's still in here. So I'm not going to take these out of the pack this time, just because I want to be able to kind of do like an unboxing video with these so I'm just going to put these to the side and there might be a couple of pens like that that I need to put over to the side and then do some testing videos and then get them onto the shelf so I will make a little separate pile for those. Next up are these Stettler brush lettering pens. I want to do a unboxing review video for these. I have actually used these already and I really like them but I want to just do a proper unboxing and I think it's always better to do that with the pack. So I am going to keep these in the pack as well. But they just look like this. They're double ended. So at one end is, I think it's a fine tip. And then at the other end, yeah. So at one end it's a fine tip. And then the other end is a thick brush tip. And they just come in lots of pretty colours. I think I might actually be missing a pen colour. So 
I need to check out what color is missing from there. Let's do some pens that I'm actually going to put into a pot. So these are already in a pot but it's been painted a little while ago and it's like a bit chipped so I'm going to be transferring these <coughs> into the metal pots. These are the Artline Sticks brush markers. So they're kind of aimed at kids in a way, hence the Lego on them. They're really cool actually. You can actually clip them together like so. Oh, by the way, please ignore this weird mark on my arm. So when I was unpacking the bedroom stuff yesterday, a bottle of tanning moisturizer exploded on me and I thought I'd wiped it off properly. But no, I've got a weird mark here and a weird mark here. Looks like a really horrible bruise, but it doesn't hurt. It's just a very small bit of tan. Yeah, I absolutely love how these clip together. So these have quite a big nib, but it's quite short and stiff, which makes it quite easy to use for beginners still. And they're super cheap too. If you're just starting out with clipper feet, I highly recommend these pens. They're not gonna break the bank and it won't matter too much if you do ruin them. But yeah, they come in lots of lovely bright colours and they're super easy to use. I've noticed on some of them the lids aren't lining up with the bases, so I'm just going to line them all up first before I put them into a pot. Yay, I have my first pot of pens! Okay, where can we go next? These are the Stationery Island Jewel brush markers and I actually did a YouTube video with these, so I'll... Try and remember to leave a click on the I button. I think it's going to be there. Or there. But yeah, these I haven't actually used in a really long time. And it's partly because they've been in their pack in my drawer, right in the back of the drawer. So I've just forgotten about them. This pack at the moment is missing. So it comes with an aqua brush as well. So it's 12 blendable colours and an aqua brush. And I think the aqua brush is just somewhere in my collection because I do use that quite a bit for other things. But I really enjoyed using these and I'm excited to get these out again. So I do start using these and I really like them. Gonna start getting to use them a bit more. I think they're also a UK company, maybe? Which is really cool because a lot of companies that make brush pens aren't necessarily based in the UK, so it's nice to have a UK brand. I'm going to take these out of the pack so I can easily grab them from my shelf. So I think technically these should actually be stored lying down because at one end there is a super fine tip. I've forgotten how fine that tip is actually. I really like these. I, I think the Tombow ones the tip is a lot thicker and so I, super, I, I really like how thin these ones are. But yeah, so it's got a fine tip at one end and then at this end it's got kind of a relatively large brush tip. So I think technically you're meant to store them sideways so either end doesn't dry out. But I'm just going to store them in this pot because it'll just be super accessible. I think I am going to put more than one set of pens in a pot because that's looking quite empty right now, but I'll figure out which pens can work with which. Hmm, how am I going to do that? Ooh! I don't know. I thought this was the water brush pen for these, but this is my Kuroteki water brush pen. So that will be going somewhere else. Okay, what can we do next? What can we do next? Yes! So this pack is the Stabilo Pen 68 pens. These aren't brush pens, these are just kind of fiber tip pens, but they're quite thick. Look at all the pretty colors. I um, can't remember where these came from. They definitely weren't gifted to me. Uh, I think I've just had them quite a while, so I've just forgotten. And again, I have not used these in ages. So they've got quite a thick fiber tip, if you can see that. I absolutely love the general look of Stabilo pens. They are always so pretty looking. It looks like I'm also missing a colour. I wonder what colour that was. I'm undecided whether to take these out of the pack because it is a really nice tin. So what I might do is put this to the side for now and then see how the rest of my pens are filling up the tins and 
if I do have space, I'll take them out. But if I do keep this in this pack, I'm gonna keep it on the shelf. So it's super easy for me to access. So I don't forget to use them. I'm gonna do all of these in one go because I think they'll be good to just go to a pop together. So next up, I've got these Versa chalk pens. Now, these packs in this hand were all gifted to me. The really lovely people at Versa Chalk sent them to me. They just wanted to see if I liked them. And I did also do a couple of giveaways with them over on Instagram. And they are really good Versa Chalk markers. However, I think they're a little hard to... Ooh, don't know what's happened there. They are a little hard to get hold of in the UK, but, but I do really like them. So in this set I've got, so this is the 10 pack classic chalk markers and these are the fine tip. So they're three mil tip and these are just a bullet tip. As you can see, the box is torn a little bit. I haven't actually used all of these colors yet. So some of them are still in their plastic wrapper. Then I have the first chalk metallic chalk markers. So these are a bit bigger. So these are tip size bold, which is five mil. And these metallic colors are so beautiful. I absolutely love them. I've used these a ton. And what's so cool about these ones is that you can actually, I don't know if you can see there, you can actually take the nib out and flip it around. So you can have a bullet tip or you can have a chisel tip. I tend to have it on the bullet tip end just because I find that easier to use but I absolutely love these. These are great for using on black paper and white paper and chalkboard as well. And then the last set they gifted me was these ones. So these are their standard ones. They're the Versa Chalk markers and these are the broad tips. So I think they're the same size as the metallic ones and again you can either have a bullet tip or a chisel tip. All of these chalk markers by the way are wet erased so they will st stay on a board really well if you just rub them with like a dry cloth. But if you use a wet cloth, then that's when they start to come off. But it does take a little bit of scrubbing to get it off. But it doesn't leave a mark or anything afterwards. Now these ones, I bought these for a chalk lettering workshop that I was meant to do in November. But it just never went ahead. It, like, it didn't go to plan. So I just have a load of white chalk markers. I think I'm gonna keep a pack because you can never have too many white chalk markers, especially as they're quite thin as well. But I think I'm going to probably give away these two packs. I am collecting a few pens that I've either got duplicates of or I've got paper that I've got duplicates of and I am thinking of doing some sort of giveaway at some point with all of my supplies. So I'm gonna put these ones to the side and then I'll put these in a pot. And I'll probably put all of those in the pot together. I've just taken these ones out the pack and the only one wrapped in plastic still is the brown one because nobody wants to use brown. The other colours are super pretty though. This video is going to be really long. They don't all fit. I might have to... Ooh, can they fit? Can they fit? Okay, might need a couple of pots for the first chalk. So I've got the metallics and the whites in this pot and then I just put the matte colours in this pot so there's some small tips and some large tips as well. Next up are the Stapler double ended calligraphy pens. So these are basically like the chisel tip pens and it's not a style of calligraphy that I do much. I don't know if it's just because I don't have the confidence to do it or I just have no interest. So I'm not gonna take these out of the pack in case I decide to do a giveaway with these or like gift them to somebody. So I'm gonna keep them in the pack just in case I do give them away. But I'm gonna hold on to them for like a month and see if I do use them and see how I get on with them as well. Next, I've got the paper base, paper base, paper chase brush pen. <laughs> Next up I've got the Paper Jace brush pens. So this pack is the dual brush markers and there are 24 in a pack. So there's lots of colours on this side and then this side. And then these are just brush pens so there's not a dual tip. So this one has like a fibre tip at one end, like a really fine nib. But these are just brush pens. I think the brush on this one is slightly bigger. But in this pack there are 48 colours. So it actually opens up 
good it is. Oh. I did do a video of these a couple months ago, so I'll put a click on my i button somewhere, wherever it is, uh, for you guys to check it out. Uh, they're £10, both of them are £10 each, which is super good. I bought them myself from my hometown paper chase, so I bought them in store. I don't think I'm going to take these out of the boxes though, because these are really handy, durable boxes. So I'm going to keep these in and save the pots for more loose pens. Okay, this is really cute. So this is what the Blink Lettering logo first looked like years ago when I first started doing Blink Lettering. This wasn't even like the last logo I had, it's the logo before that. And one of my friends was super cute and supportive to my business and she made me this pen wrap. How cute is that? I absolutely love it. And although purple isn't really my colour anymore, so my colours used to be purple and turquoise, this is still my colour. And I just, I just love having it on display. And it kind of, it makes me realise how far I've come in the past few years and I'm so, so proud. And it makes me so happy that I have some really lovely supportive friends as well. So I'm going to keep these pens in this wrap. This inside I have my Faber-Castell pens. Again, I haven't used these for a while, but I think it's because I just didn't have this on display. I absolutely love all of these pens. So they're the brush tip pens. So it's quite a thin nib, so they're really easy to use for beginners. And I absolutely love all the bright colours. They're really pigmented and they are waterproof as well. So I'm going to keep these in this wrap and yeah, I got some cute friends. Next up are the Sakura Jelly Roll pens. So these are by a brand called Roll Talons. I bought these myself, but I do want to say that there are some of the pens in this video from Roll Talons that I have been gifted. But yeah, I just want to be clear, these ones I did actually buy myself ages ago before Roll Talons even got in contact with me to work with them. So it's super exciting that they did contact me. But I saw these all over Instagram and I got a little bit obsessed. So these are the Sakura Jelly Roll um, Stardust Glitter Pens and they are beautiful. They also blend really well, but oh my, the glitter is gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I am gonna take these out the pack because I don't think I need them in the pack anymore and I want to have easy access to them. This pot's looking a little bit empty, but I do have some more jelly roll pens that I can pop inside here. So looking forward to filling it up. Oh, where do I go next? Let's go here. So I've got some more chameleon pens here. I haven't really used them much. Ooh, they basically change color. So you can like blend the colors together. And then when you write or color in the colors change. And again, like I said, I haven't really used them much, partly because they've been tucked at the back of the drawer. So I'm gonna get these out and give them a test. But I also got sent these. So these came from Colt Pens and they gifted them with these, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I do need to do a testing video on these. But what I love is it comes in a handy pack and there's some other little bits inside, some more bit. I, I need to explore this whole pack. It's been a bit of a mental couple of months moving house, so I haven't really had a chance to sit down with these yet. But I am going to keep all of these in their pack for now, I think. Especially as they're quite, they're quite tall pens, so I don't think they're going to quite work that well in these pots. So I'm going to keep these all together for some sort of chameleon colour changing experiment video. And we'll see how we get on. Next up, I've got some more chalk pens. So these are the Casa Liquid Chalk Markers. This is just a load of bright colours, and then these are some metallic colours, and I've got two white ones as well. I'll be honest, I haven't really used these much, again, because they've been tucked at the back of the drawer, but I did get gifted all of these. I think I did do um, an Instagram post about them a little while ago and yeah they were really good i really liked them again similar to the versa chalk you can either have it as a chisel a chisel tip a chisel tip or a bullet tip which is really handy and i remember them being quite pigmented so i'm looking forward to giving them a go oh look 
can spare me, but that one are handy. So yeah, I'm gonna get all of these out of their pack and put them into the pot, so I will hopefully stop using them. Also, really like the fact that that looks quite neon. Well, both of those colours do. They're pretty. So I've got these Creative Peak Precision brush pens. This is their 12 pack and then this is their newer 24 pack. And I absolutely love these pens. So they are water-based ink, so they're super easy to blend and actually each pack comes with a water brush, which I absolutely love. But what's really nice about them is the tips are bristle tips. Let me get one out and show you. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well. Can you? No, just got ink on my hand. But yeah, the tips are bristles. It's kind of like a paintbrush. I just love how bright and colourful they are and how easy they are to blend. I've worked with these guys quite a lot and they did give me both packs, which I'm so appreciative for. I've done a couple of brand collaborations with them, but I've also created some content for their YouTube channel, which is so cool. Like, it's awesome that I get to work with these really great brands and work with pens. And that's thanks to you guys for like enjoying my content. So I do really appreciate that. But these are pretty like inexpensive. You can get them over on their Amazon. I'll be sure to link in the description below. I'll try and do that with all pens on here, but that might be quite intense because there's a lot of pens. But where I can, I'll leave a link below for the pens. But I absolutely love these. I love how bright they are. The pack's just not very practical for like storing in. See, it just comes in a plastic drawer after you take them out of the box. So I am going to store all of these into pen pop. Like I said, each pack does come with a water brush too. I think I'm going to store all of my water brushes in one place rather than store this with the pens though. So many beautiful colours. This makes me so happy. Right, and these can go on the floor there. This is going to be a long video and I still have so much to do. Um, what shall I do next? I've got like, a lot of stuff is in packs, but I've got these boxes, oh that's really heavy, which need sorting out. Uh, I just chucked a load of loose pens in there. Some of them are from the inky box, which is what those boxes were, but a lot of them aren't, so I'm a bit nervous about delving into there. That isn't actually pens, that's just my you to pay for stuff at the craft fair and business cards. Oh, business cards from me being a designer. I mean, I am still a designer. But when I was looking for a job. Come on. At least that's one less box to worry about. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dive into this box, which is full of lots of pens. Oh God, this makes me feel so stressed. Okay, let's start easy. In here I've got a load of Posca pens, which I've had for ages, like a really long time. I think I just bought these, like, I don't even know when. So I'm just gonna put all of these into a pot. There also seems to be a few Rogue Versa chalk markers in here, so I'm just gonna pop those into the Versa chalk pots. And I, I've just noticed that I seem to have two reds of the first chalk, so one of these is going to go into some sort of giveaway pile. I found a Stedler pen that was missing from the pack. Yay! So as well as my Posca pens that I'm putting into this pot, I've also found these. These are the Pepio, Pepe, Pepio, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. So I've got like a giant chunky one. I think I used these for my wedding signage, which was like three years ago. So I actually have no idea if these will work. I'll probably do some sort of testing of all of my pens at some point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put them into the Posca pen pot. So I've got all of my paint pens together basically. So also in that box was a load of Tombow Jewel brush pens. I think, yeah, so basically I got given the, that's not even a Tombow pen. I'll put you to the side. So yeah, ages ago, I think probably like three or four years ago, my brother actually got me the Tombow 
Brights collection, which is really generous of him. It was a Christmas present, but it's really nice. And then I seem to have a collection of black Tombow Jewel brush pens. I think that's just from when I do workshops and then when I use the pen, I don't want to have to give it on something else. But I have an embarrassingly small amount of Tom Tombow Jewel brush pens, considering I do calligraphy. The dream would be to have that big box of all the colours, but it's expensive. That's a lot of money. But one day, maybe, I'll have the money to buy them. I'm going to put these in with the Stationery Island jewel brush pens, and then I've kind of got my jewel brush pens together, but they still are different sizes, so it's still easy to differentiate between the two. I'm also going to put this pen into this paint pot. This is the Sakura Pen Touch Ceram Glass pen, and this is really cool. Basically, you can write on ceramics, but you don't need to bake it which was really handy when I was doing personalised mugs at a craft fair. So I really like this pen. I think I do have another one somewhere in white, but I'm just going to pop that into that pot for now. So the rest of the pens in here, in here are a little bit random. I am just going to put this box to the side for now and come back to it once I've sorted out all the other rest of my pens and seen how much space I've got left. So I just remembered I've got this pencil case full of pens. I think these are all the pens that were on my desk before. And I think I have, oh, I can see it. I have another one as well. Okay, so I have two pencil cases of pens. And I think these are all like my favorite pens that I used quite a lot before. So I'm gonna organize these, but I think I'll put some of them into those wooden boxes behind me, just so they're super easy access, especially things like the pen touch sign pen because I absolutely love these pens and I just want to have easy access to them. Okay, let's do this. I'm just gonna tip it on the floor. So first up, I can see I've got quite a few Crayolas in this. So I've got some of the thick Crayola pens, like the standard ones that you use when you're a kid. So it's just got this broad nib on the end, but you can use it for calligraphy because you can have thick and thin lines. They're really fun to use. I haven't really used them much lately, but I'm gonna put them all together. I also have these, which is the Crayola Super Tips. So this is just the thinner version of the other Crayolas. So I'm gonna gather all of my Crayola pens together and put them in a pot. So I think that's all the Crayola pens. These are so cheap and really good if you are learning as a beginner or if you know a kid that is learning too. That's a real one, that shouldn't be in there. And yeah, I love the fact that you can get thin versions and thick versions. So these are definitely going on the shelf in an easy to reach place because I love how bright the colors are. Next, I can see these pens. So these are the Jelly Bright Moonlight, Jelly Bright. These are the Sakura Jelly Roll Moonlight pens. And these are the new colors. So I got gifted these again from Royal Talons because I am hopefully working with them very soon. So massive thank you to Royal Talons. And these colors are beautiful. Just like the glitter ones, they're super easy to blend as well. So I'm gonna put all of the Moonlight pens I have into this glitters pot too. I just remembered that they actually sent me two of the purple ones, so I'm gonna pop one of these into that giveaway pile. Look how pretty all the colors are. Oh, I like the fact that the glitters have a clear lid and then the Moonlights have a solid lid, so that'll be really easy to differentiate between the two. I wasn't sure how I'd be able to do that, but that's handy. Thank you, Sakura. I've just collected up all of these really gorgeous pens. So these are the Do Crafts Paper Mania metallic brush markers. I was on the Do Crafts design team a couple of years ago, but I did actually get these myself and I absolutely love them. They're just so pretty. They're really juicy and the nib is quite easy to use for beginners. So I really like these. These are the Zebra Mild Liner dual brush pens. So at one end, there's quite a big brush tip 
but it's actually really easy to use for a beginner. I do actually recommend these for a beginner if you are wanting to move over to a bigger brush tip. And at the other end, there's a fibre tip. Oh no, I've lost the lid. Found it. So I absolutely love all of these colours. They're all like a really pretty pastel. I can see, I seem to have three greys. Now, I really like the greys. The greys are great for doing shadows. So I'm going to keep two of them. But I will put one into the giveaway pile. Um, where should I put these? I'm going to put these into the same pot as the Tombow Jewel brush pens and the Stationery Island because that means that my double-ended brush pens are together. Next, I have these lovely pens. So these are the Kura Turkey Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And they are super similar to the Creative Peak pens. So they have a bristle nib, which is really nice. It's a bit thinner than Creative Peak pens though. And I basically have a load of pastel colors, but I seem to have two purples. I think those oranges are different. That one looks flesh, fleshant, fluorescent, and that one's just an orange. But one of these purples I'm gonna put into the giveaway pile. I really like using these and the gray is really light so it's really good to use for drop shadows and actually all of these colors are quite light from what i can remember so if i want some colorful drop shadows then i'll use one of the others too i'm going to pop these with the creative peak pens just so i've got my brush tip pens my brush bristle pens that's it my bristle pens together so i've got a load of white pens which the reason i have a load of white pens is because i did a video testing out 10 white pens and seeing which one was the best for various things but i just kind of kept them all because there weren't any that were like that bad so i'm just going to put these i think i'm going to put these into the wooden boxes behind me just because they're super easy to be able to grab whenever i randomly decide that i want some highlighting in my lettering next up i've got the tombow funosoki brush pens so these are a super fine tip which is really pretty the black ones I actually bought myself so I've got the hard tip and the soft tip here and they're just so good to use for little bits of different calligraphy they're so good for beginners and then I've also got the neon set which I love uh, Colt Pens kindly 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 sent me these so massive thank you to Colt Pens for letting me try these out they're so beautiful and bright I need to figure out where to put these. Hmm. I might put these into the wooden pots behind me. So I'll just put them there. So in this random box of pens, I do have some of these Royal Talons Eco Line brush pens. So these are watercolor brush pens and I absolutely love them. I think I'm gonna put all of these, I'm gonna put all of these into the giveaway box. I, for some reason, got two blues. I did actually buy these myself, but more recently, Royal Talons kindly sent me this whole box of Ecoline pens, which are beautiful. I'm so appreciative that they sent them over to me. So because I've got all of these already, I think I'm gonna put these into the giveaway so I don't have the loose ones. And then with these, I think I'm going to keep them in this pack for now, just in case I want to do any sort of videos with them or anything. They do come with a blender pen too. Okay, on to the next pencil case. I feel like this one is a little bit more organised, like there's more sets in here. In here. And I've just made it more unorganised. Okay, so I've got the... Sakura Pigma Micron Pens, and I absolutely love these for just doing any sort of detail work. I've got a load of them because they come in different sizes. Some of them have rubbed off the top, but they go from like a 0, 0, 5 to a 1. So 0, 0, 5 is super thin, and then 1 is really thick. So these are all going to go into a pot together. Next up are my absolutely favourite pens of all time. Like, this was the first brush pen I ever bought, and since then, I just love it. 
Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of blacks and there's a couple of other duplicates. So I'm gonna take some of these out and put them into the giveaway pile. But I just love these so much. I actually do have a second set of these. So, Ooh. let me just put these in pot. So I do have this set as well, which oh, has all the brush ones at the top and then these are the fibre tip ones. And this is an exclusive pack to Cotton Pen. So Cotton Pen's kindly sent me these ones. I bought all of these ones beforehand though. It's so exciting that I get to work with brands that I already love and really enjoy. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep this box and I'm gonna keep these as well because I love these pens. I know that I'll use them until they die basically, but I think I am gonna take out some of the duplicate colors in this pot so there isn't a crazy amount going on. But I will probably keep these in this box because this is really satisfying to have. Pentel have also brought out a whole new set of colours for the brush sign pens, which is so exciting. They brought them out like last week or the week before. I'm not going to put these ones into the pot just yet because I need to do a YouTube video on them and a gift you post too, which will be over on my Instagram. So make sure you head over to my Instagram if you don't already follow me. So I'm going to put these to the side, but they will go into this pot when I'm done with them. And the guys at Colt Pens kindly sent these to me. The giveaway will be working with Colt Pens too. So massive thank you to them for sending me these pens. Yay. I just realized I've got some more of these Eco Line brush pens. So this is the pastel collection. So it's a little bit different to the other pack that I showed earlier. And this was kind of gifted to me from Craft Stash just to test out and see what I thought of them. And I think they're pretty beautiful. I do still need to do some sort of YouTube video around these two, so I'm going to keep them in the pack for now. And then once they're out, I will put all of my Ecoline pens into a pot. So up next are these. So these are the Winsor and Newton Pro Marker pens. And to be honest with you, I have not used these in years, and I don't think I will use them. They, I just, I don't know. They are really, really nice pens. I do really like them, but I think they just don't go with the kind of calligraphy that I do. So I think I'm gonna put these aside and give them to the local charity shop by me. It's like a scrap store. So you can basically donate art supplies and then people can pick up cheap art supplies. And I think that might be a really nice place to donate these and hopefully they'll go to a good home. So I think I've got through just over about half of these pens and this video is taking forever. So I think I'm gonna split this into a part one and a part two, just so this video doesn't go on for too long. So I'm gonna say bye right now and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you hit that subscribe button, then you'll be able to see when the next video goes live, which is part two of my pen collection. So yeah, feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of pens, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.